Good day. Welcome to our IGCESE physics series. And we are looking at the first section of topics that you will find in your IGCSE curriculum. Here we will explain some concepts and try to give you a clearer understanding of what is in your textbook. Please feel free to pause and use the resources that we show in the slide series and also note down anything that you think you will need in future. We hope you enjoy the series. In the next segment, we are doing area. So how do we calculate object or shape area? In general, what we use is length times breadth, right? Length times breadth. So if you make an L with your finger, this can be length or breadth, and this can be length or breadth. And you will multiply these two with each other to get what's between those two if you're making a square with it. So for example, if you are doing this and you measure your index finger and your thumb and you times the two or multiply the two with each other, then you will get the area between these two spaces of my index finger and my thumb. And since everyone's index finger and thumb is a different length, most probably, you will all get different areas that are in between your index fingers and your thumbs. So which formula is used for area? There are actually a few, because if you think about triangles, circles, rectangles, and also squares, you will get different formulas for them. So the formulas that we use for them will be length times breadth for rectangles and squares. Then if you look at the example down here, we will also get a different one for triangles. So a half times AB times AC, which will be, if you look at this 90 degree triangle, you will get AB, which is four centimeters, and AC, which is six centimeters. So this times this times a half, because it's not a full square. So if you look at the square here, but you put a half a triangle like that, then it turns into a triangle, although I don't have a 90 degree angle between my thumb and there, but anyway. So this is a half of a rectangle. And that's why we take the length and the breadth of the triangle equation and we half it to get a 90 degree triangles uh, area. And then if you don't have a 90 degree triangle, what you will do is you will take the height from the pinnacle down to the baseline and the length of the baseline, and then you will still half it because it's still not a full triangle or parallelogram that you also get. So a parallelogram looks like a skew triangle or rectangle, right? And therefore, that is the equation of a, a triangle, sorry. And then a circle will be pi radius squared. So if you are calculating a circle, then it will be pi radius squared. So I'm assuming all of you know what a radius is, but if you don't, then it's half of the circle circumference. So if you look here, if you want the area of a circle, you're going to go radius, which is from the middle to the nearest side of your circle. And then you will have pi radius squared for your area of your circle. Okay, that is your equation for a circle. Next one. So how do we indicate the unit associated with area? So because we are calculating and multiplying two sides of an object, it means that we will have a square somewhere. And this is usually where the centimeter or the meter squared comes in. Because you're calculating two sides of the object, you will get your squared. That's why with the circle, even though there are no sides, you still have your squared for the radius. We don't have diameter, which is the half cut of the circle. That will calculate something different. What methods and guidelines are required for circle area calculation? As I said, you have to find the very middle of your circle then find the radius, which is half of the circle to any side of the circle, measure that, and then you multiply it by pi. So you use pi to calculate with 
radius, which is the half of your circle to any side. And pi is 22 divided by seven. So 22 divided by seven multiplied by the radius of your circle squared. Thank you for joining us in today's session on IGCSE physics. We hope that this topic has helped you to gain some insight into what you can expect in this curriculum for physics. Enjoy your day. Bye.